COVID-19 has taken a significant toll on people across the world. It is also affecting certain groups in society more than others. Over in South Korea, female workers have been bearing the brunt of the economic pain inflicted by the virus. Lim Young Suk reports. The pandemic has been harsher on women, chants Pei Jin Gyeong, who heads the Korean Women Workers Association in Seoul. As she and others at this rally voiced out their anger and frustration about women's place in Korean society. Data showed that South Korean women earned 33% less than men in 2019, the widest gap among developed countries, which had an average gap of 13%. Latest figures from the Korean Women's Development Institute showed that women's conditions have worsened since the pandemic. In September 2020, the unemployment rate for women was at 3.4 percent, up 0.6 percentage point from the same month in 2019. For males, it was at 3.7 percent, with a 0.3 percentage point gain. Experts say unemployment is climbing faster among women because they form the majority of workers in the service sector, such as restaurants, hotels, cafes and bars, which suffered the most from the government's COVID-19 measures. Moreover, they say women in their 20s were the most vulnerable. Unemployment for that group was the highest at 7.6 percent. An even more worrying trend is that along with the rising unemployment rate, there has been a steep rise in suicides among this group of people. Data showed an increase of about 43 percent in suicides among women in their 20s in the first half of 2020 compared to the same period in the previous year. Suicide is not uncommon here in South Korea. And in recent years, more and more young people have been taking their own lives, especially women in their 20s. And so I'm here at the Seoul Suicide Prevention Center to find out why. Dr. Kim hyun Soo, who heads the center in Seoul, say unemployment is one of the main reasons, as many were single, earning to survive. President Moon Jae-in had pledged to make South Korea a friendly place for women since coming into office. His government had announced measures to remove some of the disincentives for employing women, all part of a broader effort to reverse the demographics crisis as the country's birth rates continue to slide. The rising suicide rate among young women, which experts call a silent massacre, is sending a clear signal to the government that more needs to be done for the country's women. Lim Yasuk, CNA, Seoul.